Hi, I'm Kaylee Ellen, and my battery on my camera is dying, so I'm going to make this as quick as I can. So, hello and welcome. My name is Kaylee Ellen, and welcome to my plant declutter unhaul thing. I don't really know what I'm going to call this video, but here it is. Also, to anyone that may know me, let's just ignore my ratchet ass hair. Just a few days ago, I thought it'd be a great idea. <laughs> since it's autumn to actually dye my hair red and I, if you don't know me, I've been a blonde for the past four years but I thought hey let's just get in on the whole autumn thing and I basically dyed all of my hair red and 24 hours went by and I hated it, hated it. So I've spent the last week pulling it out so I've gone from red to orange to corn yellow to this but unfortunately we've, we've lost a little bit of definition up in the root. So yeah, no one really knows that I dyed my hair red unless you work with me because no one else has seen it. So if you do know me, surprise, I fucked up my hair. Obviously I'm always keen to add to my collection. However, I have way too many plants and I know everyone says that, but really I have too many plants. I love the whole minimalist thing. You know, a lot of white walls, a little bit of green in there, keep it sexy, keep it clean. But I really do have too many now. So there are a few reasons why I wanna do this video today. One, I don't necessarily have the right growing slash living conditions for them. Um, I actually bought a lot of these plants when I lived at a previous address. I've only lived in this address for about three months now. So a lot of them were very, very suited to where I used to live and now they're just not. I mean, they're alive, they're doing fine, but they could have better care. They could be more loved. They could be in a nicer spot. Uh, some of these plants, I don't even see them every day. Like they're in another room that I never go in. They're kind of in a spare bedroom. I just don't see them. So there's just no point in me keeping them really. Another reason, even that said, even though I like things minimal, I would still like to expand my collection, which means unfortunately to get more plants, I need to get rid of some plants. And I know that doesn't make any sense. And the third reason is I've kind of just fallen out of love with a couple of these. As I say, I don't really see them. Even the ones I do see, I kind of look at them and I'm like, mm, you looking a bit ragey. Could be replaced, I'm just saying, you know, it looks good there, but maybe something else would look better there. And you know what, I think there's nothing wrong with that. I think if you get bored of your plants or you can't give them the right care or any reason at all, you should be able to gift them, get rid of them, whatever you want to call them. Which brings me on to what I'm actually going to do with these plants and it is highly likely that I'm going to give them away, either over the internet or to friends, whoever. But I'm going to be nice, I'm not going to chuck them out or anything like that, I'm not going to throw them away, they're fine. So I'm going to quickly show you the plants that I'm going to be unhauling, decluttering, getting rid of. I will be splicing in some sexy shots of these plants because let's be honest, we know what you came for. You came for the sexy plant shot. You like your plant fix. So without further ado, I will start you off with plant number one, which is my variegated rubber plant. Now there's nothing wrong with this guy. He's very, very healthy. He's fine. He's never given me a new leaf. I've had him for about five months maybe. Uh, he's just, he's been like this. This is him. This is all he's ever been. It's possibly all he ever will be. I don't know. Yes, I could repot him, but I guess I haven't given him enough love to repot him. I haven't decided to. Um, sorry, my ring keeps clanking on the pot. That's definitely not irritating. So yeah, I just think someone else could love him a little bit more than I do. He's kind of down by like the corner of a window in a corner and I, I never see him. I never look at him. I water him when I know he needs watering. That's about it really. He doesn't he doesn't do much. He's just, he's just there. Um, so I'd like to get rid of him really. I do also have another ficus elastica, so and I do love that one. This one, this one's just an abandoned child, really. Um Yeah, I guess I like the green one more. <laughs> I feel like such an asshole saying all this, but you know. The second plant that I wish to get rid of is the ZZ plant. Um, again, nothing wrong with him. He's pretty chill. If you've seen my plant tour video, then you will realize this guy wasn't in the best of spots. He kind of just, he just looked weird in that area. I think I can do a better job at filling the area with something else. Maybe plant related, maybe not, who knows. Um, so yeah, I just wanna, I don't know, he just, he doesn't fit with the aesthetic of all my other plants. I don't know, he's very structural, he's got all that going for him, but he's, he's just not for me really. So, yeah, I bought him for a really dark corner in my old flat. I've now moved here. I mean, don't get me wrong, this flat is not short of dark corners, but I don't know, I just think I could put him in the bathroom and forget about him, or I could just give him to someone that might love him more than me. So I think I'll orphan this guy um, to a good home. So if you're good at playing spot the difference with my background, then you'll know that the next plant is the String of Hearts. Now, again, nothing wrong with him. 
Uh, you may see in my last video that I mentioned that I don't really have much love for this guy. Um, I really just don't. There's, there's nothing wrong with him. He's done nothing. He's done nothing wrong. But um, I guess my style of plant is I like the really kind of like full leafy foliage type plants like Calathea, Peace Lily, all of that jazz. Um, I just, I just, I'm not digging it. It was kind of an experiment anyway, like this pot is a really small pot. So it was kind of an experiment just to see if A, I could grow them, B, if I liked it. I don't dislike it, I just, oh, I, I don't, I don't have an opinion. I don't have an opinion. So I just think someone else could just have more fun with them, you know? They can hang out and do things. So as cute as he is, he's about 60 to 70 centimeters long. Yeah, it's, it's not for me. It's just too, mm, Spindly, could you say? I guess it's too spindly. I'm gonna orphan him too. So the next plant I'm probably gonna orphan is the... It's not, it's not. Hell no. The next plant I've decided to orphan is, let me get them. I have to have one in each hand. My satin pothos, now this was one plant. I divided it into two because it wasn't growing and I felt that it was a little bit overcrowded. Since then, it still has not grown. It's been exactly the same. I mean, having said that, I'm actually looking at this now. I can actually see a few leaf buds in there. So now I'm feeling super guilty for saying I'm gonna get rid of this. Still think I'm gonna get rid of them. I may keep one, I haven't decided yet. I'm not really sure what to do because before I sat down to film this video, my boyfriend told me, um, you know, I'm really glad you're getting rid of these plants because I never liked them anyway. Specifically referring to these. So I was kind of like, oh, okay, well, that's fine. Maybe that's affected my decision to get rid of both of them. I don't know. Maybe I should keep one. What do you think? Because I will read the comments and check. I mean, I could always do with the spare pots as well for the new plants coming in, because that is a really good reason to get rid of some extra plants. So yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Should I keep one? Should I get rid of them both? Why won't they grow? Answers down below. So I think my last plant that I may get rid of for slightly different reasons, I guess, is my, oh, this is gonna take a minute, a hot minute, but it is my Areca Palm. Now, this was the first plant, <sighs> this was the first plant that I got when I moved into my old flat, basically. Uh, I've, I moved to Manchester after I graduated university for a job here. So I basically abandoned everything I knew and loved and moved to Manchester. My boyfriend followed me over here a few months later, so for a while I was on my own. And he actually bought me this plant as a birthday gift. That's where I get even more just inhumane as a person for wanting to get rid of this. But uh, this plant does not go with any of the other plants that I now own. Um, I can care for it. It's actually quite easy to care for, to be honest with you. It's got some brown tips, but they are very, very old. It's off my last flat where it just, it just didn't get watered. There was a huge heat wave this year. Um, where we were having like 28 degrees and it was 28 degrees in the flat and I just didn't keep on top of watering him and he dried out a little bit. Aside from that, he's actually also had a couple of mealy bugs as well. I've been fighting those for the last, I don't know how long, four or five months, a while now. Um, looking at this, I can't see any mealy bugs. Oh no, wait, or is that scale? I've had scale too, so that's a thing. I don't know, it just, it doesn't go with the vibe that I've got going on in this house. So I do think you would be better off loved elsewhere. So I think that concludes my plant unhaul giveaway. As I said, I'm not getting rid of that many plants, to be honest with you. Just getting rid of a few to start because I don't wanna go crazy and get rid of them all and go right, new plant collection, new me. Baby steps, we'll just get rid of a few. I mean, I say a few, that's potentially five plants. That's, that's okay. I guess the main reason I wanna do this as well is just like, it has to be said, <gasps> Also, I have two Instagrams. I have a plant Instagram and my regular Instagram. Follow either or both, I don't really mind. Follow neither, I don't really mind. Likewise, if you have any suggestions on new plants I should get, please let me know in the comments. I tend to favor any kind of alocasia or anything that looks similar to an alocasia and anything of the Calathea prayer plant type family. I'm very much into that. I am an overwaterer. Those are the only plants that will forgive me. Me with any plant. I'm just gonna give you more water. You look thirsty. You look like you need more water. So that concludes me and my ratchet hair uh, on video for I don't know how many minutes. Hopefully I've cut that down as much as possible so you don't have to go through that for too long. But yes, that is my plant unhaul. So if you're still here, thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one, no doubt. Bye.